Good morning. This is Duane. And the last few videos we have been doing on the subject of how to find the key. We took up flats first, and we, our subject was how to find the key of the song when you have flats. And the next one was how to find the key of song when you have sharps. And the last one was how to find the key of a song when you're in a minor key. So what I'd like to do today is simply give you all three of those videos combined because people watch one and then they can't locate the other. So I'm going to put all three together here on this combination or summary video. So nothing new, but all three are included here. So with that, I'll say goodbye. And here goes flat keys first. Good morning. This is Dwayne. And we've been doing a series called Good Stuff You Really Ought to Know About Music. And one thing you absolutely need to know about music is the concept of keys. What does it mean to play in the key of F? Or uh, if a song's written in the key of E flat, what does that mean? Uh, some people go through life and they play the piano or sing in the choir or something and they still ask, how do I know what key this is in? I just had a guy ask me the other day, uh, this has two flats, what, what key is that? Well, this is so easily solved that in the next seven minutes, I estimate seven minutes, you're going to learn all the flat keys, and then tomorrow we'll take up all the sharp keys. Uh, first of all, what does it mean to play in the key of C? It means the, the song is based on the scale of C. It's not that they couldn't use any other notes, but if they, do, if they use any other notes, they have to say so by way of an accidental. Okay? So it's based on the scale of C. What does it mean to play in the key of F? It means it's based on the scale of F. What does it mean to play in the key of B flat? It means it's based on the scale of B flat. So if I play in the key of B flat, I've got those three flats to deal with, don't I? Okay? Or two flats in the key of B flat, sorry. If I play in the key of E flat, I have three flats. Okay, so let's learn the order of the flats and then what key it's in. Uh, all the keys are in, okay? The key signatures. The order of the flats is real simple to remember because you just say the word bead, B-E-A-D. Those are the first four flats. B flat, if there's one flat, it's always B flat. If there's two flats, it's always B flat and E flat. If there's three flats in the key signature, it's always B flat, E flat, and A flat. And if there's four flats in the key signature, it's always B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Okay? Now, if there's... Uh, five flats in the key signature, it's always B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Now usually you won't go past that, but if you do, if there's six flats, they're always B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. And if there's seven flats, which there very seldom are, but if you should encounter that, they're B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. I know it looks like B and, and E, but it's really C flat and F flat. Key wise, okay? So if you have one flat, what is it? It's always B flat. So if you see one flat in the key signature of a song, it's B flat in the key signature. If you have two flats, B E. If you have three, B E A. If you have four, B E A D. That'll probably do you for the most part if you just remember the word bead. But if you want to also remember the last uh, three flats, say something like go catch fish. So the order is B, E, A, D, go, catch, fish. B, E, A, D, G, C, F. Okay? Now, if, if you have no sharps or flats, you're in the key of C because you're based on that scale of C. If you have one flat, you're in the key of F. Just memorize that. If you see a B flat in the key signature, uh, you're in the key of F because it's based on that scale of F. After that, it's real easy to remember because if you see two flats in the key signature, they're always what? B flat and E flat. And the second to the last flat is the key. Well, E flat's the last flat. What's the second to the last flat? B flat. So you're in the key of B flat if you got two flats, B flat and E flat. If you have three flats in the key signature, B flat, E flat, and A flat, what key are you in? The second to the last flat, which is E flat. If you have four flats, if you see four flats in the key signature, B, E, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat, what key are you in? You're in the key of A flat. If you f see five flats in the key signature, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat, what key are you in? That's right, you're in the key of D flat. And that's because it's based on the scale of D flat, which has those five flats, right? So I can play, I can play. I 
I can play in the key of D flat based on those five flats. Okay? So remember that. B E A D. Go catch fish. That's the order of the flats. That's one thing you have to memorize. B E A D G C F. And then the second thing you have to memorize is to find the key of a song, take the second to the last flat, and that is the key. The second to the last flat is the key. Now, I don't know if we've used up seven minutes or not, but you have learned the order of the flats and how to find the key of a song in seven minutes or less. So thanks for being with me, and we'll see you tomorrow with sharp keys. Bye-bye. Thanks for now. Good morning. This is Dwayne, and we've been doing a series called Good Stuff You Really Ought to Know About Music. And one of the things you really ought to know about music is are the sharp keys. Yesterday we took up the flat keys, and we said there's seven possible flat keys. I'm talking about major keys now. We'll take up minor keys later, but talking about major keys, there were seven flat keys. And we also learned the order of the flats. Do you remember what they were? That's right. If there's one flat, it's always B flat. If there's two flats, it's always B flat and E flat. If three flats, there's B flat, E flat, and A flat. Four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Do you notice a pattern? Sure, it's up a fourth. Each one is up a fourth, isn't it? So if there's four flats, B, E, A, D, that spells the word bead. And then the last three are G flat, another four, up a fourth. And then C flat, looks like B, but we've got to call it C flat. And then F flat, okay? So those are the seven possible uh, flats and uh, the flat keys you can play in. We said that to find the key in flats, you take the second to the last flat, and that is the key. In other words, if you have four flats, those four flats are always B, E, A, D. Where's the second to the last one? It's A flat, isn't it? <clears throat> so A flat is a key. But today we want to take up the sharp keys, and again, there's seven major sharp keys. Not counting minor keys, we'll do that later. But there's seven sharp keys. First of all, the key of C is not a sharp key. It just has no sharps or flats, right? But when we get to sharps, <clears throat> there's a key that has one sharp, and that is the key of F. The key of G, I'm sorry. <laughs> the key of G. And the reason it has one sharp is because it's based on the scale of G that goes like that, right? Okay, so if you have one sharp, just memorize it. You're in the key of G, and that sharp is always F sharp. Okay? <clears throat> now, if you have one sharp, it's F sharp, but if you have two sharps, it's F sharp and C sharp, always. If you have three, three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. If you have four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Notice a the pattern there? Yeah, it's up a fifth. That's a fifth higher than that. That's a fifth higher than that. That's a fifth higher than that. Perfect fifth. Okay? Did you notice something else about it? F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. It's bead spelled backwards, isn't it? Remember the order of the flats were B E A D G C F. Well, the order of the sharps are just backwards to the flats. So if you <clears throat> if you remember that, you can always figure it out, can't you? And uh, I said in flats you could remember it by saying bead. The word bead and then something like go catch fish, okay? Um, in sharps, you can say it backwards or you can say fat cats go down alleys eating baloney. Something like that, okay? Because the order of the sharps is always the same. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp, okay? Now, you're not going to use those last keys hardly at all, but get get familiar with, with at least the ones that have you know, two or three or four sharps, because you have, you run into that all the time, okay? Now, how do you tell the key you're in if you have sharps in the key signature? It's super easy. It's super easy. All you do is you take the last sharp to the right in the key signature and go up a half step. <clears throat> in other words, if there's only one sharp, you know it's already, F, it's always F sharp, right? So what's a half step above F sharp? G. So you know you're in the key of G based on that uh, one sharp being in the key, in the scale. Okay, if you got two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, what's the second to the last? I'm, what's what's the last sharp? C sharp. So you go up a half step to what? D. You're in the key of D, which has those two two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. There's the, the scale of D, which is the basis of the key of D. Okay. 
So again, you take the last sharp to the right and go up a half a step. If you have three sharps, F, C, G sharp, go up a half step and you're in the key of A. If you have four sharps, F, C, G, D, go up a half step and you're in the key of E, right? If, you're, <clears throat> if you have five sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp, then you're in the key of B. And you can see, if you play the key of B with those five sharps, uh, that's the B scale, okay, based on, and so songs can be written in the key of B based on those five sharps, okay? Key of B is really pretty easy because you're using all the sharps, right? There's none that you leave out. You're, lo you're losing all the black keys. Kind of like the, it's exactly like the key of D flat, by the way. You're using all the flats um, and nothing else. Okay, so you want to learn the order of the sharps, which is F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Fat cats go down, L, E, Z, N, Bologna, or any others saying any other memory device you want to use to remember that. And then, you secondly, want to learn how to tell what key you're in if you have sharps in the key signature. And we simply take the last sharp to the right and go up half a step. And that's really all you need to know. So we've covered the keys of the flat keys and the sharp keys. And tomorrow we'll go on to uh, rel the relative minor keys and determine how we find the key uh, there. So if you enjoy these uh, little videos, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our whole series. So I hope to see you there. So bye-bye for now. Good morning, this is Dwayne. And we've been doing a series called Good Stuff You Really Gotta Know About Music. And uh, recently I covered the order of the flats and how to find the key when you have flats. In other words, when you have one flat, how do you know what key you're in? When you have two flats, how do you know what you're key in? And then we covered sharps, how to know what key you're in when you have sharps. Today I'd like to take up the subject of how to know what key you're in when the song is, is obviously minor. In other words, when you when you hear a song and it's minor, how do you know whether it's in the key of C or the key of you know, some other key? Okay. Well, it, it's really easy. If you're looking at a piece of sheet music and you see uh, a key signature with no sharps or flats, you're probably 95% certain, or 80% certain anyway, that you're in the key of C because it's based on the scale of C, which has no sharps or flats. If, on the other hand, you see a song that has one flat in it, you're 80% certain that it's in the key of uh, F because it's based on the scale of F. If you see a song with one sharp, you, you know it's in the key of G and so on because of what we talked about earlier. But what if, what if you look at a, at a key signature at a piece of sheet music and it has no sharps or flats, but it sounds minor? Well, what you have to do is look at the first chord and the last chord, and if either one of them are A minor, it's probably in the A key of A minor instead of C major. Now, what, what links the key of C major and C minor? Why are they related? Because the key of A minor uses exactly the same notes as the scale of C. Here's what the scale of C uses, those notes. Okay. Here's what the scale of A minor uses, those same notes. Okay. It's not that it can't use others, but that's indigenous or organic to the key of A minor. So what you do is you find any relative minor key by going down a step and a half from the major key. In other words, if, if you, you think you're in the key of C, but you might be in the key of A minor, you go down a step and a half from C, and that's the relative minor key. If you see a key signature that tells you you're in the key of F, but it sounds minor, check the first and last chords, and if it's in a minor key, it's in D minor. Why? Because it's, that's a relative minor key. It uses the same notes as the scale of F to, to base that uh, song on, okay? If you're in the key, uh, if you have, say, two sharps, you would normally think you're in the key of D, right? Okay? But it might be in the key of what? B minor. Go down a step and a half from the major key, and that is a relative minor key. A step, you know what a step and a half is. There's a whole step. And there's a half step. A whole step always skips a key, and a half a step skips nothing except the crack. Okay? Let's say that you have uh, three flats. You would normally know you're in the key of E flat, right? So you'd be playing in the key of E flat. Right? But it might be in the key of what? It might be in the key of A minor. So it's, it's really easy once you understand it. It's kind of confusing at first to understand that. But 
you simply to find the relative minor key of any major key go down a step and a half and that's its uh, relative minor so that's it for today if you enjoy these little tips come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free series of tips hope to see you there until then i'll say goodbye